for the bill. Call Tim McIndoe. Thank you, sir. I also support this bill and I commend the Commerce Committee for the work they've done on it. It's good to note that there is widespread support for updating this area of law to reflect technological advances in modern consumer conditions. Sir, my Christmas wish is that I will be able to contribute further to improvements in our consumer law next year by winning the parliamentary lotto competition, better known as having a bill drawn out of the private member's ballot. Because I've been working with representatives of the Scrap Metal Recycling Association of New Zealand for nearly a year now, and they and I hope that my second-hand dealers and pawnbrokers' Scrap Metal Dealers Amendment Bill will be drawn early in 2013, as we've got a serious problem in this country arising from the increasing incidence of scrap metal thefts, and that does come under the umbrella of consumer law. We need to drive the cowboys who give the honest operators, and that is the vast majority of them out of that industry, and make it harder for thieves to dispose of stolen scrap metal, which has become an attractive currency for those who choose a life of crime. But that's yet to come. For now, this consumer law reform bill serves a worthy purpose and deserves our support. It has mine. I close, Mr Speaker, by wishing you and all honourable members and all who are listening at this moment a very Merry Christmas and a happy summer holiday. Our Honourable David Cunliffe. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh